Hello everybody, this is Dr. Matt Bergman and generative AI has been something that has taken education by storm over the past year or two. And one of the reasons why is it has been a tool that is disrupting education. Now we're finding tools like ChatGPT, well, they're becoming popular for students cheating. However, that's not the primary use that most of our students are actually using it for. Did you know that you could actually ask ChatGPT for feedback on a piece of writing? It'll actually give it to you. So another way of thinking about generative tools like ChatGPT and Gemini and Copilot um, that create text is why not create sample writing assignments or sample completed assignments so you can see one what is generative ai going to create but two use that assignment to create exemplars for students to see examples of a completed piece of work so we could possibly do that but what other ideas are out there what other tools well my lens is a tool that you can use to create timelines mind maps and quadrants you just simply need to go ahead in here and either write about your topic with a prompt or paste your content. Now I've gone ahead and I've created some things ahead of time. So for example, if I wanted to see key events in The Great Gatsby, look what it does. It actually puts together a whole entire timeline which I can share and I can also download and share with my students. It also provides a mind map. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to understand the competencies and components of OSHA. Here you go. This could be a great brainstorming tool, a great discussion tool, even a review um, application as well. But character AI is another type of tool that you could use to have discussions with historical figures, celebrities, and it's in the form of a chat bot. So this right here is Holden Caulfield from the uh, famous novel, uh, The Catcher in the Rye. And as you can see right here, he's playing his part, lighting up a cigarette. And so I am want him to tell me more about these phonies and he's going to respond and we could have a conversation. You can even share this conversation uh, so that others can see. Uh, so another tool that you could possibly use is say Gemini. Now what I love about Gemini is that you could paste a paste text uh, in there. And so what I did is I said, hey, look, can you actually break down the following paragraph into a table? So I took from To Kill a Mockingbird this paragraph from chapter seven, and I said, hey, you know what? Put together a table for me of major themes. And look at this. Here we go. So these are some of the major themes in that particular paragraph. And I can even export it to Google Sheets if I wanted to do something more with it. So it's a great way of breaking down information. But what if you wanted to create, say, a visual? Well, there are some great tools out there to do that. Copilot is one of those tools that you can use. And you simply can give it right here a prompt, such as create a realistic image of a cat playing a fiddle, create a table that analyzes public funding for arts compared to G uh, D GDP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say, create a creature that looks like a turtle combined with a sunflower, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. Now it's gonna generate this. Something else you can do with Copilot, which I think is rather unique, is down at the very bottom right here, you can even upload your own images right here, even take a photo. So I sketched out my high school football helmet on a post-it note and I uploaded it to Copilot and I asked it to create a football helmet and it did. Check this out, here we go. Here's a turtle that's combined with a sunflower and you can use these different images. Imagine you could use this for a writing assignment or writing prompt, um, a six word story. There's, the, there's so many different things you can do. So tools like Canva also have these uh, things built into it as well, like the uh, Magic Studio. Um, you're gonna see Adobe Express also has some of those tools as well. Really, really helpful. Magic School is things that you can do with it. There's worksheet generators, there's lesson plans, there is um, 
a just really a Jeopardy review game, a vocabulary list generator. I mean, just look at all these things. And it is a free tool that you can use. If you want to see how it works, what you can do is you can click on this and then see an exemplar and it'll give you what it looks like. So this particular example right here, this is a lesson plan format in the five E's format. So not only does it have that, but lately it's been up to, well, let's have magic students. And so these are different tools that you can use for students, such as creating your own custom chat bot, even writing songs. Yeah, you can write your own songs, write a skit, you can even ask questions. So those are some great ways of doing things. Now, what about ChatGPT? We, we don't wanna leave ChatGPT out. So what I did is I said, hey, look, can you create a pendulum simulation using code in Python, okay? So here we go. We're going to actually take this particular tool that you can use, and what's neat about this is that 40% of generative AI right now is being used for coding. Yeah, yeah, used for coding. So as you can see right here, I can copy the code, the Python code here, and I could go to a tool like Jupyter Notebook. And when I go to Jupyter Notebook, I can simply go right here. Um, I can actually um, paste in, so I gotta create a new, um, a new notebook. Okay, so I'm gonna put in right here my code. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run the selected cell. And so what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and run this particular cell. So let me try to run it again, run selected cell. And what it will do then is it will actually run that simulation for me so that I can see this pendulum uh, simulation on this particular tool. So there's all sorts of different things that you can do. It looks like, looks like it's stalling out for me here, but the, the reality is, is that generative AI is more than just cheating with ChatGPT.